the Arabian Cave of Bones. Scientists in Saudi Arabia recently had their minds blown when they explored a creepy desert cave. The spooky site is situated about 80 miles from Medina, way out in the middle of the Arabian desert. It was formed during volcanic activity about 5 million years ago, likely hollowed out as a lava tube. It was originally discovered about a decade ago, but the researchers who found it heard growling from within. Heeding the warning, they decided it was in their best interest to leave. Not even the bravest archaeologist was about to walk into what was almost certainly a den of wolves. All these years later, scientists went back to see if they could finally get inside. Amazingly, they entered into a dark chamber filled with an unimaginable number of bones. Human bones and animal bones that have been accumulating in the cave for the past 7,000 years. Experts think it was a den for striped hyenas. The scavengers likely took their feasts back into the cave and stripped the bones of their meat. They never got rid of the bones, so the cavern floor is strewn with animal remains. Seventy centuries of collecting bones has turned the cave into a reeking cesspool of death. About 2,000 bones were recovered, half of which were identifiable. The bones belonged to 14 different species, including horses, camels, and humans. Researchers also identified hyena bones, suggesting the vicious animals may have eaten each other. It's unlikely humans ever lived in the cave. The growling of the hyenas would have scared them off. Michigan's Skull Cave Skull Cave is one of the creepiest subterranean caverns anywhere in North America. It's located on Mackinac Island, Michigan. Though not particularly large, it was once filled with unimaginable horrors. The cavern is surprisingly small, a natural hollow carved by the currents of Lake Algonquin thousands of years ago. In the 18th century, Native Americans started using the cave as a burial place. They didn't really bury the dead, but just kind of laid them out in the cavern to rot. The cavern was first discovered by a European fur trader in 1763. Alexander Henry was fleeing from Pontiac's Rebellion when he came across the entrance to the cavern. Pontiac's Rebellion was launched by a confederation of Native Americans to get rid of the British in the Great Lakes region. Alexander desperately needed somewhere to hide, so he crawled into the squat cave. Much to his dismay, he was crawling over generations of human bones and gaping skulls. Still, it was better than being killed by the angry locals. Alexander spent all night sleeping with the remains of dead Native Americans. There are no more bones in the cave these days. It's not clear where they went, only that somebody cleared them out at some point over the last 200 years. Now Skull Cave is a tourist site in Mackinac Island State Park. And now for number 7, but first it's shout out time. I wanted to give a big thank you to Penny Plant Frigged and Bjorn Dam Wrong 3289 for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about shocking discoveries. The Caves of Druids There are a series of subterranean tunnels and caverns in the city of London that most Londoners don't even know exist. The complex is known as the Chislehurst Caves, first documented as flint mines that were abandoned in the early part of the 19th century. In the 20th century, the caves were opened as an attraction for tourists. But the real ancient truth of the caves has long been a mystery. The caverns reach a depth of only 100 feet deep, though they stretch an incredible 22 miles. The caves are truly enormous, twisting beneath the streets of Greater London like an abandoned termite nest. Although the experts are aware of how extensive the system is, nobody's ever mapped it. Only 10% of the Chislehurst Caves have been properly mapped because most of the system is underwater. When the caves first became a public attraction, tour guides said the system was inhabited 6,000 years ago by ancient druids. They also said the Romans explored the caves 2,000 years ago when they invaded the island. Later, around 500 AD, the caves were supposedly used by the Saxons upon their arrival in Britain. This was what the tourists were told, yet none of it was ever backed up by archaeological evidence. Archaeological investigations have revealed only a handful of facts about the caves. The discovery of a plesiosaur fossil suggests the cave system formed 53 million years ago. Records show Chislehurst was used for chalk and flint mining during the Middle Ages. A prehistoric skeleton was found embedded in the ceiling of the cave from around 10,000 BC. Scientists think it may have been a refuge for Stone Age humans escaping the Ice Age. 
Other than these facts, everything else is a guess. Sure, the caves may have been carved with the help of the Druids or the Romans. It's an interesting idea, but there's no hard evidence of Druid activity down in the dark depths. Nakavana Cave Nakavana Cave is located in Croatia, the place where Neolithic humans dwelled in darkness. Researchers believe it was occupied up until the arrival of the Romans 2,000 years ago. For the past two decades, the cave has been subjected to intense archaeological excavations. It's off-limits to tourists because of how sensitive the cavern is. Tourists would destroy the archaeological evidence. One of the most important discoveries was made by a team of Canadian and Croatian archaeologists in 1999. They were digging at what they thought was the end of the cave when they found what's now called the Middle Chamber. Researchers were shocked to find a massive stalagmite that had been carved into the shape of the erect male organ. That might sound kind of gross, but this kind of symbology was hugely important to ancient cults. Even the Romans were known for wearing amulets around their necks of the male reproductive organ. Ancient people were kind of obsessed, but not for the reasons you might think. It was all about fertility. Ancient people may not have understood the biological secrets of reproduction, but they knew how to make a baby. For them, the male organ represented fertility. Surrounding the stalagmite were fragments of pottery, smashed plates, and votive offerings. Researchers immediately recognized the chamber as a hub for a fertility cult. It's believed the cult met here from between the 4th to the 1st century BC. What they did isn't entirely clear. It likely had something to do with venerating a fertility god or goddess. The cave was probably visited by the Illyrians who dominated Croatia before the Romans invaded 2,000 years ago, the Maya ritual. Balamku is an amazingly creepy cave that holds clues about the fall of the great Maya Empire. Balamku, also called the Cave of the Jaguar God, was first discovered by farmers in 1966. Archaeologist Victor Segovia Pinto was the first professional to investigate the spooky cavern. He reported the presence of archaeological material, then ordered the farmers to seal the entrance. It was completely forgotten about for the next 50 years. The cave remained sealed until National Geographic explorer Guillermo de Anda reopened it in 2018. Guillermo and his team of investigators were the first modern researchers to explore the cave. Guillermo crawled through narrow passages until he came upon a great chamber. He was positively flabbergasted when the light of his headlamp illuminated the remains of an ancient Maya ritual. He said he was so stunned that he started to cry. That's how amazing of a discovery this was. Stalagmites had formed around abandoned incense burners and Maya vases. The floor of the cavern was covered in offerings left behind by the citizens of Chichen Itza over 1,000 years ago. For the Maya, Balamku was seen as an entrance to the underworld. They would have used it as a ritual chamber because of its proximity to the world of death. The offerings left were for Tlaloc, god of rain. I said earlier that the cave contains clues about the fall of the empire. That's because when Chichen Itza started to collapse alongside the Maya kingdom, the people grew desperate. Many of these offerings were placed in the cave around the end of their civilization. It was a desperate effort to convince Tlaloc to bring rain during a devastating drought. Archaeologists suspect it was drought that caused the Maya to collapse, since no rain meant no food. Sadly for the Maya, their offerings to the rain god did not save their city. The Doom of the Indus The Maya civilization was not the only one to be destroyed when the gods suddenly shut off the water supply. Across the world in the Indus Valley, the Indus civilization thrived at the beginning of recorded human history. They were the first advanced society in India and Pakistan, building monumental cities in the Fertile Valley. Everything was going great until 4,200 years ago when the rain suddenly stopped. Archaeologists suspect the same thing happened in the Indus Valley that happened in the realm of the Maya, particularly on the Yucatan Peninsula. Drought annihilated the civilization. In both cases, drought is only a theory as to how the kingdoms fell. But there is a lot of proof to back it up. In the Himalayas, archaeologists found evidence of an ancient drought in the Dharamjali cave. Researchers found a very special stalagmite that formed exactly when the Indus Valley civilization was coming to an end. Researchers were able to analyze the mineral deposits of the stalagmite. The analysis then allowed them to reconstruct rainfall patterns from 4,200 years ago. They identified three major dry periods between 4,200 and 3,900 years before today. 
Each dry period lasted between 25 and 90 years. This is the exact evidence scientists were looking for to prove that the Indus Valley civilization crumbled because of back-to-back -back droughts. The Skull Cup in a Spanish cave, researchers came across an extremely disturbing cup. The cup was made from a human skull. 7,000 years ago during Europe's Neolithic period, someone fashioned a drinking vessel from a dead person's head. Researchers believe this could be a sign of prehistoric cannibalism. It's not the only sign either. They also found a human shin bone fashioned into a tool and bones cracked open to be drained of their marrow. Scientists from the University of Bern in Switzerland were involved in the recent investigation of Marmoles Cave. They studied the remains of 12 ancient people who were buried between the 5th and 2nd millennia BC. In total, researchers looked at seven adults and five children. When they conducted a microscopic analysis of their bones, researchers found signs of deliberate fractures. It seems as though the bones were cracked open for easier access to the juicy marrow inside. There were also markings on the bones from tools that may have been used to scrape off the flesh. Everything points to some serious cannibalism. Plus, this is not the only cave in Spain where skull cups have been found. These things are in caves all across southern Spain. The skull cups are believed to be the byproduct of harvesting brains, then reusing the skulls as drinking vessels. The evidence is clear enough that ancient humans in Spain didn't mind eating other humans. The why of it is a much bigger mystery. Scientists don't know if it was because they lacked respect for the dead. They don't know if it had to do with primitive religious beliefs. It may also have been starvation, a kind of last resort to survive a harsh winter. Then again, maybe they just developed a taste for it. Would you drink out of a skull cup? Let me know in the comments and hit subscribe while you're at it. The oldest cave art. In 2019, scientists identified what they said could be the oldest rock art ever created by humans. The art is 44,000 years old, found in an Indonesian cave. The picture is nothing short of amazing. It's a hunting scene that shows a group of humanoid creatures called therianthropes. They were mythical half-human, half-animal hybrids. The strange creatures are depicted hunting warty pigs and buffaloes using primitive spears. Since this is one of the oldest pictures ever drawn by human hands, it's getting a lot of attention from anthropologists across the world. Some say this picture represents the beginning of human spirituality. The scene depicted is a supernatural one with mythological beings hunting monsters. It could be an example of the first religion, the first legendary fable, or the first tale of human origins. Nobody really knows, which is part of what makes it so exciting. Another important part is that nowhere else in the world do the human-animal hybrids called therianthropes appear for another 24,000 years. Other ancient pieces of artwork in places like Europe typically only show abstract symbols. It wasn't until about 10,000 years after this picture was made that humans started painting horses and animals. Then it was another 14,000 years before they started painting complex pictures of deities and myths. Adam Broom from the Australian Research Centre for Human Evolution is extremely excited about the find. He said the images could represent the earliest evidence of the human ability to conceive things that don't exist in the natural world. In other words, this could be the first example of the human imagination taking shape. The birth of imagination was the first step to creating early religions. The Wells Grey Cave In 2018, an enormous hole was found in Wells Grey Provincial Park, British Columbia. The gigantic hole turned out to be the entrance to one of the biggest caves in Canada. It came as a big shock because nobody had known it was there. Scientists believe the cave was covered by a thick sheet of ice and camouflaged by the snow. It was only at some point in the last decade as global warming turned Canada into a much hotter place that the ice melted to reveal the abyss. Regardless of how the cave was revealed, it now has the attention of scientists worldwide. With the entrance open, scientists now have a unique chance to explore a rare cave system that could prove to be one of the largest in North America. Researchers think the hole could lead to a network of smaller caves and unique life forms that have been locked beneath the snow, potentially since the Ice Age. Looking down into the hole is a pretty intense experience. It is a dramatic pit that descends vertically into the earth to where only blackness can be seen. You can't just crawl down into the cave, you need special equipment to spelunk to its bottom about 400 feet below its mouth. You would think that by now someone would have gone into the cave to explore it. 
but that's not the case at all. It's still virtually untouched by humans. Geologists had planned to enter the cave in 2021, but then withdrew their application. As of January 2023, no other scientists have applied to research the unknown depths of the pit. Even weirder is that BC Parks completely closed the area off, so now it's a no-go zone for the public. Anyone caught near the cave risks a fine of $1 million. Why do you think the Canadian government has blocked off the mysterious cave? What's down there that they don't want anyone to know about? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to help support the channel and come back soon.